So moving to the next question, question number 23. Three moles of B2H6 are completely reacted with methanol. The number of moles of boron containing product formed is. This question ko solve karne ke liye hame reaction likhna padega. This is the reaction between B2H6 and methyl alcohol. Alcohol. 3 moles B2H6 reacts with methyl alcohol. Reaction ka product panta hai BOCH3 whole thrice. Since 3 mole is present, to humne coefficient yaan lik diya. 6 moles of this compound. This is 18 moles of methyl alcohol. Plus reaction product ban raha hai 6 mole hydrogen gas. Now in this question, the number of moles of boron containing product formed is. Reaction ke jo product bane, usme ek product ye hai, dusra product hydrogen hai. Ab ab first product mein dekhiye, boron containing product is only this one. Aur is compound ke, is product ke total 6 mole ban rahe hai. Is ka matlab hua ke iske answer mein, hume number of mole 6 consider karne honge. 6 mole compound is having boron and rest 6 mole is hydrogen gas. So correct answer should be 6. Next question is question number 24. The molar conductivity of a solution of weak acid HX is 10 times smaller than the molar conductivity of a solution of weak acid HY. If molar conductivity of X is approximately equal to molar conductivity of Y, the difference in their pKa values, pKa HX minus pKa HY is. It means we difference find out karna hai. Dono acid ke pKa and pKa HY ka difference find out karna hai. To dekhiye yaha par question ko hum kaise solve karenge. In this question, both the acid taken are weak acid. First, we have HX, dusri acid le li HY. Weak acids are partially ionized and their degree of ionization is represented by alpha. This alpha is molar conductivity of HX at given concentration by molar conductivity at infinite dilution. Similarly, HY ki baat kare, so this alpha which is degree of ionization, this is molar conductivity of HY at given concentration by molar conductivity at infinite dilution. This is a weak acid, is acid ke ionization constant ko Ka1 se represent kar rahe. This Ka1 is C alpha square. Now this C is the concentration of HX and this alpha is the degree of ionization of HX. So here we the degree of ionization ko alpha se represent kar rahe, alpha 1. So you consider the formula mein se alpha 1. Consider this one is the second acid. Second acid ke ionization constant ko Ka2 se humne represent kya. This is again C alpha is square. Ab yaha bhi alpha term hai, koi confusion nahi ho. Is liye humne se alpha 2 mark kar diya. So this is C alpha 2 whole is square. Now in this question, this is Ka1 by Ka2. Hum aise lik sakte hai. This is C alpha 1 is square by C alpha 2 is square. C ki value dono question mein dono ke liye de hui hai. For HX this C is 0 0.01. For HY this concentration is given 0.1. Alpha 1 humne yaha par dekha. Isko calculate karke lik dete hai. This is molar conductivity of HX is square. Yaan lik diya hamne molar conductivity of HY is square. Denominator mein molar conductivity li gai hai HX and HY ki at infinite dilution. Jo dono ke liye approximately same aajayege. 
अब इसे सॉल्व करते हुए के ए वन एंड के ए टू की वैल्यू कैलकुलेट कर ले गए दिस इज पॉइंट जीरो वन बाई पॉइंट वन वन बाई टेन लेमडा एच एक्स मोलर कंडक्टिविटी ऑफ एच एक्स सोल्यूशन ऑफ अ वीक एसिड एच एक्स इज टेन टाइम्स स्मॉलर इसकी वैल्यू इसके टेन टाइम्स स्मॉलर है सो दिस इज वन बाई टेन इसका स्क्वेयर कर दिया के ए वन अपॉन के ए टू दिस इज कमिंग आउट टू बी टेन रेज टू पावर माइनस थ्री अब देखिए इस क्वेश्चन में हमें फाइंड आउट करना है डिफरेंस ऑफ पी के ए वन एंड पी के ए टू हमें ये डिफरेंस फाइंड आउट करना है के ए वन हमने रिप्रेजेंट किया एच एक्स के लिए के ए टू रिप्रेजेंट किया है एच वाई के लिए सो दिस विल बी इक्वल टू नेगेटिव लॉग ऑफ के ए वन बाई के ए टू सो दिस इज नेगेटिव लॉग ऑफ टेन रेज टू पावर माइनस थ्री जब हम इसका नेगेटिव लॉग लेंगे तो ये वैल्यू आ रही है थ्री इट मीन्स पी के ए वन एंड पी के ए टू का जो डिफरेंस कैलकुलेट हुआ दैट इज थ्री सो आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इट मीन्स डिफरेंस ऑफ द पी के ए वन एंड पी के ए टू शुड बी इक्वल टू थ्री सो आंसर शुड बी थ्री इन दिस क्वेश्चन